asked this to a lot of guys. Not gonna talk to Anthony Smith, the fighter. We're gonna talk to Anthony Smith, the man. Okay. How's he doing? I'm good, man. I'm in a really good place. Like, if you'd asked me that four months ago, I don't know how I would answer that question. But this game is so crazy. Like, as you get older, and, and fighting has given me everything that I've ever had in life. It's it's afforded a life. I didn't even graduate high school, dog. Like, I didn't graduate high school. I got a fucking grenade tattooed on my hand, and I sit up on ESPN. Like, fighting has given me everything that I have in life. And then you start getting here 35. I'm going to be 36 pretty soon. And then, like, that tunnel starts to close a little bit. Like, I'm not done, but, like, I definitely have less time ahead of me than it's behind me. You know, when you're, you you come off of a bad loss like the Khalil one and, and, and you just don't know where you're going to go from there and, and the one thing that's giving you everything may be, get, may be being close to taking from you, you know? And I just had to lean into my coaches and my and, and, and therapy, to be honest with you. Like, if I'm, if I'm, like, really steady with my therapy and really working on my mental health, like, I'm in a really good place. I'm dangerous, man. I'm like, nobody can beat me if I'm in a good place mentally. But you can kind of see, like, if you go back in my career, you can see the spots where, like, my mental health isn't where it needs to be because then I go on a skid or I start having some problems. Overall, man, I'm really good. I got four beautiful kids I can't wait to get home to. It's got a brand new house I moved into on Monday and then flew here on Tuesday. So my poor wife's been unpacking this house all by herself. Just excited to get home and, and try to turn over a new leaf. Like sometimes I'll take off too long because I'm so dis I'm so like thrown into this fighting thing that I get home and I don't even want to think about it. Like I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to leave my house. And then I become a little bit reclusive and I just don't leave. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a better job of like, you know, I'm not injured at all. So like go back to training on, let's go back to practice and like start doing some strength and conditioning like Thursday, Friday. So I don't let myself get into this thing where I'm just drinking on the weekends with my homies and hanging out in the driveway in my house. And then, and then I don't do shit for a month and then all of a sudden someone wants to fight. So uh, I'm just going to work on just doing like, I don't know, managing it a little bit better. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that question though. That means a lot. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, that means a lot to me. Thank you.